This is 13.2 lower respiratory tract notes. The essential question is, what organs make up the lower respiratory tract, and how are the respiratory and conducting zones different? Trachea is also called the windpipe. It connects the larynx, which is part of the upper respiratory tract, to the bronchi, which are smaller tubes that lead into the lungs, which carry air to the, uh, the alveoli, the, the smaller sacs inside the lungs. The trachea is recognizable because it has the uh, C rings that are made up of cartilage. So when you feel your, the front of your throat, those little rings that you see, these rings is what allows the trachea to remain open at all times. Again, recall that the entire respiratory tract is lined with ciliated pseudostratified columnar epithelium and their job is to, the cilia, it will actually sweep in the opposite direction as the air is coming in, and their job is to uh, collect any kind of debris that has been collected by the mucus and then sweep it toward the, uh, the, the mouth or the nasal cavity where you can basically expel it out of the body. As the air passes through the trachea, it leads into two major tubes. Those are called the primary bronchi. Bronchi is plural. Bronchus is singular. So you have the left primary bronchus and you have the right primary bronchus. The primary bronchi leads into the lungs and where they enter is called the hilus. And note that the right bronchus is wider and shorter and more branched then the left primary bronchus, they're more straighter and they have less branches and they're much longer. So you notice that on the left side, notice much longer and then it's much shorter and then it has more branches coming off of the right one. The reason for that is on the left side is the presence of the heart which takes up space so the lung is further away from the midline so that means that the tube that leads into the lung has to be longer to be able to reach it. The primary bronchi then divide into smaller branches and notice here the primary bronchi leads into smaller divisions. Those are your secondary bronchi and then those sometimes they call it tertiary bronchi or they learn into what is known as terminal or bronchioles which are the tiny, tiny uh, tubes, air tubes. The major organ in the respiratory system is the lungs, and it occupies the majority of the thoracic cavity. The other organ that will occupy the thoracic cavity is the heart, which is kind of slightly to the left in the, uh, in the center, in the space called the mediastinum. The apex is the, the top, the highest point of the lungs, and base is the bottom, the widest portion of the lungs. So again, apex is the highest point of the lung, and then the base is the wide bottom portion or the inferior portion of the lungs. Each lung is divided into lobes, and the lobes have names like the superior lobe, there is an inferior lobe, inferior lobes, and then on the right side there is actually even a middle lobe. The right side have three lobes and the left side has two. And the reason for that is is because the heart takes up some of the space on the left side so there is no room for a, a, a third lobe on the left and so you have less lobes on the, on the left. And the structure that divides the lobes are called fissures. So you have the horizontal fissure which separates the superior and middle lobe and you have the oblique fissure which separates the middle lobe and the inferior lobe on the right. On the left you only have the oblique fissure which separates the superior and the inferior lobe. So to review you have the trachea coming down to the two major branches which are your primary bronchus, the right and the left they will branch to smaller tubes called the secondary bronchus. Then that will branch into tinier t 
tubes called tertiary bronchi and then those will then end in what is known as terminal bronchioles or bronchioles which are tiny tubes, air tubes. Now the lungs, on the right side there are three lobes. There is a superior lobe, there is a middle lobe, and there is an inferior lobe. The superior lobe and the middle lobe is separated, the, separated by the horizontal fissure. And then the middle lobe and the inferior lobe is separated by the oblique fissure. On the left side, there are only two lobes. You have the superior lobe and you have the inferior lobe, which is separated by the oblique fissure. Okay. All of the tubes inside the lungs together are called the bronchial tree, and they are divided into what is known as the conducting zone and the respiratory zone. The conducting zones are structures that the air passes through. So it starts with the primary bronchi, then you have the secondary bronchi, then you have the tertiary bronchi and the bronchioli or the bronchioles. And then the ones that are actually attached to the alveolar ducts are the terminal bronchioles. So the conducting zone is made up of the tubes that leads away from the trachea that carry air. So it starts off with the, the primary right and left bronchi, which then branch into smaller secondary bronchus or bronchi that leads into the smaller branches which are your tertiary bronchus or bronchi and then that leads to the tiny branches of the bronchial tree which are your bronchioles which are connected to the uh, alveolar duct and then the alveoli so only the left and right bronchi the secondary bronchi, the tertiary bronchi, and the bronchioles are actual passageways for the air and does not, there is not involved in the actual functioning of the respiratory system, which is the gas exchange. The respiratory zone is structures that are associated with the alveoli, including the alveoli themselves. So the alveolar duct is the tube that leads from the bronchioles to the alveoli and the alveoli are the air sacs that actually the blood capillaries surround where actual gas exchange occurs. One of the last stage of lung development is the production of a chemical called surfactant that surrounds the alveoli and the lungs and what happens is that it allows the um, the lungs and the alveolar sacs to fill up with air and it actually causes a surface tension which allows the outer wall of the lung and the alveolar sac to be attracted to the, the outer lining of the chest cavity and then which allows the uh, alveolar to expand and take in air. So children that are born prematurely, they might not have a full development of the, the lungs and also the production of surfactant, which means that their alveoli or their lungs will not be able to fully expand and take in the air and which are more susceptible to some type of a lung infection or pneumonia. Okay, gas exchange occurs between the alveoli and the blood capillaries that surround them. The oxygen, remember the alveolar sac, is filled with high concentration of oxygen that are coming in. And the blood vessels carry, the, especially the veins, remember the blood from the heart travel through the pulmonary arteries to then smaller arterioles to the lungs, which carry carbon dioxide and so they have high concentration of car carbon dioxide and the process of diffusion high concentration of carbon dioxide in the blood capillary will move into the alveolar sac the alveolar sac 
has high concentration of oxygen, which is going to diffuse or move to an area where there's a lower concentration into the blood vessel, the blood capillary. And notice how the blood turn is, uh, starts off, a blood vessel starts off as blue, and as it picks up oxygen and dumps off carbon dioxide, it slowly turns to red. And any time you have a structure like the respiratory system, remember respiratory system is an open system, which means that they are in contact with the outside. So you're going to have to have macrophages, which are large blood, uh, white blood cells, that's going to help in protecting against some you know, foreign uh, microorganisms that can cause infection also. 13.2 notes homework. Number one, explain the difference between the left and right lung and the right and left primate bronchi. Number two, explain where and how gas exchange occurs. Number three, what is the function of surfactant?